Hello children, we are back once again with the English chapter. Yesterday I had a live class also. Those who could join, very good. Those who could not join, some of them uh, try to join in the live class whenever it is coming up next. So yesterday in my video also as well as in the live class also, so my topic was the, of discussion was conjunctions, right? In yesterday's chapter or in yesterday's lesson, whether it was the video or in the live class, we briefly or we came to know about coordinating conjunction. In which, what did we learn? We learned that coordinating conjunctions can be remembered with this acronym called FAN BOYS, where it stands for FOR and M for NOR, B for Y, O for OR, Y for N, and S for SO. So these are all conjunctions. We have learned it as coordinating conjunctions. Today, in this class, I am going to explain you about the subordinating con conjunctions. Subordinating means, where, say, suppose if, uh, say for example, this is one ball or one sphere, you can begin it, right? Now, this ball is standing on some something. There are two other balls that are supporting this ball to stand on a flat surface. Right. So here, these two are the subordinating. Subordinating means this is the bigger ball, the main ball, and these two are the subordinating ball, which balls which are actually helping the main ball to stand or solve its purpose. Likewise, subordinating conjunction. Now these are some conjunctions which actually helps to form a sentence. And there are a few more other things that we need to know about subordinating. What are they? As you can see, it's already written. So, shows relation with what has been said before. Number one, subordinating conjunction. It shows relation with what has been said before. Something that has been told to you or it has been said in the past. If, if subordinating conjunction are removed from a sentence, if subordinating conjunctions are removed from a sentence, the sentence may not make complete sense. In coordinating conjunctions, what did we learn? We learned that even if we draw any one of these conjunctions from a sentence, we can individually write each sentence and it will make a proper sense. But here, in subordinating sentence, what happens? If you take out the subordinating conjunction, in that case, both the sentences or the compound sentence which has been framed with two simple sentences, it will not make sense or the sense of the sentence may be different. It may not be the same anymore, right? So, if subordinating conjunctions are removed from a sentence, the sentence may not make complete sense. Subordinating conjunctions are, for example, they are when, after, before, whenever, why, until, if, unless, although, though, still, because, since, as, where, and whenever. Right? Where, where, and whenever these two subordinating conjunction talks about place, remember. Right? So, <clears throat> these are the few examples, not few, these are the examples of subordinating conjunctions. All of these words that are written over here, these are the examples of subordinating conjunctions. Now what we will do, we will pick one conjunction from here and we will see whether it satisfies these rules or not. Number one, shows relation with something that has been said before, remember. This conjunction shows relation about something that has happened before or been said before. Right? Next week it says that may not, if we drop the subordinating conjunction from the sentence, then the sentence may not make full sense. So for example, when. <coughs> Let us uh, frame one sentence with when. Right? For example, the sunflower blooms when the sun rises or when 
the sun rise we can also write when the sun rise the sun cloud room when the sun rise fine so what is the conjunction present in this sentence the conjunction that is there over here is when it is true that it is making average to join two different sentences that is correct because it is joining two different sentences but what we wanted to find out we wanted to find out that whether number 1 it has anything to do with the past yes it has the circular rooms when the sun rises or it has something to do in the past you must have seen or you in the past you have learned it will only rise when the sun when the sun comes out right so this was the first case second case what we have to see if we draw this if this is been omitted when is omitted whether this sentence till here and this sentence from here to here makes any sense or not if i write the sun cloud blooms it is not making a complete sense remember the sun cloud blooms that's it it is not making it is making sense but it is not making complete sense likewise if i write the sun rise fine the sun rise but then is it making a complete sense no like yesterday when we have learned where uh, i think the sentence was uh, she was starving or something like that let me just check out what was the sentence that i gave you mm, yes i fed her for she looked really, really starved right so i fed her can be written separately and she looked really starved both the sentences if they are put separately it is making complete sense but over here it is not making complete sense let us take us let us take one more conjunction subordinate conjunction from here after so we we'll make a sentence with after mm, for example the rain came after you left for the or say for example just the rain came after you left so the conjunction present over here in this sentence is after right so if you take this out first it has something to do with the past here yes, the rain came past after you left that is also past left right so over here the next has to make complete sense does it make complete sense or not let us see the rain came but the rain came but still it is not making a total sense and after that you left only you left so this sentence this one and this one if we write it separately it does not make complete sense because we have put one subordinating conjunction it is making sense or if this is related to this and the relation is being shown by what by this conjunction known as to be subordinating conjunction right so one more example we will take whenever why until if unless so let us let me write one sentence with until hmm the what will not complete until you submit So the work will not complete until you submit the OTP. That means some transaction is happening, online transaction is happening. 
So it will not come with until you submit the OTT. Here, until this is the conjunction supporting any conjunction present here. Hence, it is connecting two sentences. The work will not complete. What work? Or what has to happen after that, after completion? Again, it may, it's making hassles. You submit the OTP. This can be in the form of instruction also. You submit the OTP. Right? So, still, you see, it is not making a complete sense. Because of until it's used over here, now all these sentences put together using a subordinate convention, it is making a sense. So today we will be only discussing up till here subordinating consumption. I am not giving you any homework today as it is not the day of your homework. So maybe tomorrow when we will meet in the class, I will be sending you some task and you have to do that and send it to me. But today what you have to do once again, as I told you yesterday, read page number 94 and 95. Today you have to read page number 96. In the meantime, if you want, you can give a try to complete exercise A, but it is not mandatory, it is not homework. If you want to try, you can complete exercise A. That means coordinating consumptions. If you want, you can write in pencil in your book, but do not send me your work today. Right? The day on which you will have to send the work, I will mention in there. Right? So, we have learned about coordinating consumptions. Today, we have learned about subordinating consumptions. Tomorrow, we will do the exercise on both of these two types of Conjunctions. Until then, bye bye and take good care of yourself.